I'm Kay and I'm a late bloomer. Maybe it was beginner's luck, but I knocked it out of the park growing garlic for the first time. Garlic is easy to grow, but be prepared to wait. Last September, I ordered early Italian purple and Italian late soft neck garlic from Seeds of Change. I read that soft neck garlic is the best to grow if you live in a milder climate, and I'm in the coastal microclimate of Zone 11A. Italian late is later to mature, but it keeps longer, so it's recommended to plant both to have the longest supply of homegrown garlic. In typical K fashion, I forgot my own late bloomer lesson and didn't note where I planted which. <laughs> Don't think you'll remember this stuff. Write it down. Planting my first 10 cloves in a container was so simple, I didn't even record the event. Basically, you carefully remove the paper skin off the head of a garlic, separate the cloves, try not to pierce the paper skin on the clove, and with the pointed end up, about every six inches, push cloves down two inches into well-composted, organic, rich soil that drains well. Cover with a thick layer of mulch, like leaves or straw, then water and wait. A long time. Voila. <laughs> now I'm just going to wait. On November 21st, about a month later, I'd finally figured out what to plant in this narrow strip beside the walkway. 28 cloves of garlic. <laughs> I still had more cloves to plant, so they went in the parkway. A week later, it rained, which is a rare event around here. And the border garlic had sprouted. Garlic? Here comes Lyndon, my garden helper. She's an indoor kitty. She likes to come out on the porch and uh, watch me garden. <laughs> With garlic, it's a waiting game. The marigolds I seeded in trays were planted in between the garlic shoots the middle of January. The garlic remained steadfast as the sweet peas came and went. My row of soldiers protecting my garden. Harvest your garlic when the leaves are about 30 to 50% brown and stop watering a couple of weeks before that to let the cloves form. Otherwise, it'll just be like a leak. On April the 1st, after six months, I thought it might be time to harvest. Take a look. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? Let's find a big one. This one's pretty big. It's not ready to come out. Okay. All right, well that's fresh garlic. So that will go in my chicken soup. Little did I know it would be another six weeks before the garlic was ready. I was inspired by Kim at Cali Kim 29 Home and Garden DIY YouTube channel to harvest my first garlic and see what I've got. Now I don't have a fancy harvest tool like Kim does. I'm using a spoon. <laughs> But she says it's better to dig out the garlic rather than to pull it out. So let's see what's down there. <laughs> it doesn't feel that big, actually. The soil is really loose, but I have to cut through the roots. There we go. Ah, okay. <laughs> That looks small. So I know that's gonna be good if I eat it fresh, but I don't think the heads are formed enough. Okay, finally took the garlic out of my planter. And two left here. <laughs> Their roots are grown together. It's twins. 
I am very proud of myself. <laughs> Not bad for a front yard garden, right? And one last whopper. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's Hold like on, the let size me... of a big onion. Insane. Look at that basket here. What do you do with all that? <laughs> Growing garlic for me was worry-free, and perhaps having garlic and marigolds spread around the garden helped protect against pests. Growing garlic in an urban garden makes sense. It doesn't take that much room, and basically you can shove those cloves down almost anywhere. I even stuck a few cloves in my California native mini meadow. It's very rewarding watching anything grow, but especially one that's so easy. Now I have much more garlic than I can possibly eat, so I'll save the seven largest heads to plant for next year and share the rest with neighbors. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe and share with friends. I'm Kay. I'm a late bloomer. Thanks for watching. See you next time. That's clean enough. In my California mini... I even stuck a few cloves in my California native mini med. <laughs> Say that five times. Little did I know. Oh, hummingbird. I don't know, maybe that's the way it looks when you pull it out and then it gets, no, no, that's got to get bigger, right? Let's give it the sniff test. Ooh. Oh. That's garlic. <laughs>